Hey there, CPO here, and in this video we're talking battery charging. So this is my current battery charger. I've had this for, I don't even know how many years. My guess is at least 20, possibly 25 years. Anyway, uh, this has been my battery charger uh, in the garage. I use it for everything, but it just can't handle my current needs, particularly with regard to AGM batteries, which I'm moving to in the overclocked build. And so this guy has got to go, and uh, it's time to replace it with something a little bit more modern. And that's where this Odyssey battery charger comes in. Besides being like 50 times lighter than that old Century charger, it's packed full of features and technology that's going to really make sure that I'm able to take care of the batteries in my household as well as possible. So let me talk a little bit about this because uh, when I was doing my own research, there wasn't a lot of information out there on this Odyssey battery charger. So I'm gonna give you the lowdown and uh, show you how it works. All right guys, so here it is. This is the Odyssey 20 amp portable charger from Enersys. Now this is all digital technology, definitely something different than I'm used to with my uh, former battery charger. Uh, it's fully automatic, basically plug and play. Uh, it has six stage performance charging. It has an LED uh, battery charge monitor. It will tell you if the system's okay, or if not, it will tell you if there's trouble in the system. Uh, it has an integrated cable that wraps around, it's kind of a unique uh, uh, deal there and uh, it's got some safety features built in that I'll tell you about. Again, 20 amps, um, they come in a 6 amp, a 12 amp, and a 20 amp, but the 20 amp is what's recommended for the automotive batteries, basically uh, the higher amp hour batteries, especially uh, the AGMs. Now, even though I'm getting this because I need it for AGM batteries, it can also handle traditional flooded batteries up to 950 cranking amps. All right, so first let's talk about this system check uh, light. So if this system check is off and a red trouble status LED, um, that could be from poor battery connections. It actually detects reverse polarity and will not allow the battery charger to operate if you get the polarity backwards. Uh, if your battery is too low of a charge below 2.5 volts, then uh, it can't charge it and this is not gonna be able to do that or uh, if it has a high battery voltage input. So, um, you know, if, if you have a battery that's not a 12 volt battery, something else, uh, that will um, give you that trouble status. So that's kind of nice. All right, as I mentioned, it's got six stage charging. Uh, the first stage is gonna be a self test. Uh, during this stage, the battery charger is gonna check connections, polarity, and to make sure the battery is good, and then it will go into the analyzing stage. At that point, the charger is checking to make sure the battery is capable of being charged. And uh, when it gets through stage one and two, the system check OK indicator will illuminate green, and then we'll go into stage three, which is charging. During this mode, the charging indicator will be red and the charger will use all of its available charging amps, temperature controlled also, until the battery voltage is raised to 14.7 uh, volts. Then it goes to stage four, which is conditioning. During this mode, the conditioning status indicator will be amber, and batteries will be held at 14.7 volts for several hours to condition batteries and fully charge a battery. Upon completion, the charger will go into its auto maintain uh, which is an energy saver mode. So this light will uh, will turn green here for auto maintain, and uh, it will basically monitor and maintain batteries only when needed to maintain a full state. It's kind of a storage mode. And then stage six is storage recondition. During this mode, the uh, green indicator will illuminate with a slow fade in and out pulse. This indicates that while your batteries are in storage, the charger will automatically recondition the battery for up to three hours once a month, extending the battery life and maximizing battery performance. So uh, for most people that are just using this as a standard charger, you're probably not gonna go into storage uh, reconditioning uh, and probably not into auto maintain for very long. But basically, 
uh, you can leave this thing hooked up to a battery um, indefinitely, I guess, um, and it's going to automatically uh, go into this storage mode over time. They do have a graphic that shows the average voltage uh, during all of these cycles. I'll throw it up right here for you so you can uh, check that out. All right, I'm really gonna put this battery charger to the test because this is the battery that I pulled out of my Jeep, the factory battery that I believe has a dead cell. I'm curious to see what this is going to do, but it'll also show you how the battery charger works. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is get a current voltage measurement. And we're at 10.47, which is about where we left it uh, when I pulled it out of the Jeep several weeks ago. Uh, so definitely should be within the range that the Odyssey will be able to try and charge it. The big question here is, uh, can it still hold a charge? Now, one of the things that um, Odyssey recommends, actually a lot of battery charging uh, companies recommend uh, using an extension for the negative lead on your battery when you're charging. The reason for that is because uh, the negative lead is the one that you're going to add last to the battery. You're going to connect the positive first and then the negative, uh, and that is uh, something you should do even when the battery's in the vehicle. But that's the opportunity uh, that you're most likely to have a small spark. Now these lead acid batteries tend to generate nitrogen gas, and it's highly explosive, and so one of the problems is uh, that uh, if you uh, spark a battery and there's nitrogen sort of hanging around, it will explode. Now, it's not a common occurrence, uh, but it is definitely something that happens uh, and thousands of people are injured uh, every year uh, in battery explosions. So better to be safe than sorry. I'll be honest with you, I'm 45. Um, I've never done this. I've always just connected directly to battery posts, but hey, I'm able to learn and grow. Um, so I'm hoping to share some of this with you in hopes that you'll do the same. So I actually just um, got this, I made this little extension. So I bought the, um, the battery cable. This is a four gauge uh, battery cable, got it from Pep Boys. They also had this little uh, quick release uh, terminal uh, connector. So basically what I can do is just set this on here and then clamp it down to the battery and now I've got an extension. And the point being is now that whenever I add the negative side of the battery charger, the spark is gonna be at least you know 24 inches away from the battery uh, and less likely to cause any damage. So that's why that is there. And uh, I'm gonna try and use good best practices for safety. All right, now with regard to the charger itself, it's got this little Velcro um, tie here at the top allows you to release all the cables. And uh, they're wound around. Um, and it's really kind of cool. It actually gives you instructions uh, on how to wind and unwind. And then on the end, you have your different leads. Nice uh, long leads and uh, can see here it tells you uh, the instructions for winding everything back up which is kind of cool my problem is I'll probably lose this little strap so in order to not lose it I'm gonna set it on the top there while we do this exercise all right so I'm gonna go ahead and attach the positive lead to the battery now I'm gonna go ahead and connect the uh, the negative lead to that extension cable that I have connected to the battery. And of course now the last step is to plug in the charger itself. Okay, you can see it going through the self-test. Does show a battery charge status. I'll explain that here in a second. Now it can take a little while to get through the self-test stage, but that's okay. All right, so there we go. It went through the uh, self-test process, was able to identify the charge level of the battery. The green check indicates that the system is okay, and now we have a red light showing that it's charging. So for the charge monitor, let me tell you about those LEDs. That first red LED lights up when the battery level is at zero to 10%. Uh, 
it, you can see it held there while it was doing the self-test, probably checking the battery voltage. Uh, the first green light uh, is when the charging level is at 10 to 30%. Then two green LEDs is 30 to 50%. Three green LEDs, which is where I'm at now, is 50 to 70% charge. Four green LEDs is 70 to 90%. And when all five green LEDs are lit, the battery level is at 100%. All right, so this is my bad battery. So what I'm gonna do is uh, leave this bad boy to charge and uh, we'll see if it can recover. Uh, I'll be surprised, but hey, I've been surprised before. So uh, I'll check back on this uh, after several hours and we'll see what's going on and I'll uh, fill you in on how it's going. All right, so here's something interesting. It's showing it's not quite a full charge. I don't have five green LEDs, but I am already in the conditioning stage. So I wonder if that's indicative of the fact that it can't get to a full charge. Kind of interesting, actually. I don't expect miracles out of a battery charger, but I did want to go through this exercise just to show you sort of how the battery charger worked and uh, and what to expect so i think mission accomplished on that i'm not going to mess around with this old battery anymore uh but uh anyway so i think we're gonna call this one done i'll check the voltage real quick just to see yep just like it was doing before get up to uh 11 and a half ish and then just steadily drop and it's dropping like a brick so um i replaced this battery for a reason this just sort of confirms it. Uh, but anyway, but at least gives you a sense of how this charger works. And I do expect it to help me keep my healthy batteries healthy. So anyway, that's it guys. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>